you will auscultate the same four valuable valvular areas without verbalizing. Or you may verbalize aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Next, you will place the bell in the left lateral decubitus position. Instruct the patient to lay on their left side. Place the bell over the mitral region. Verbalize, there are no gallops S3 or S4 heard. Next, verbalize quality of heart sounds. Verbalize at least once during auscultation of all areas the quality and the rate of the heart sounds. Rate and rhythm are regular without murmurs, gallops, or rubs. Peripheral pulses. Palpate bilateral peripheral pulses. Include the carotid, the radial, the dorsalis pedis, and the posterior tibial pulses. Next, inspect peripheral vessels, inspect nail beds for cyanosis, clubbing, and capillary refill. Verbalize, there is no peripheral cyanosis or clubbing. Capillary refill is less than two seconds. Next, peripheral vessels. Inspect and palpate the legs for edema, Air distribution, skin condition, temperature, and varicosities. Use of the back of the hands to compare temperature of the legs. Verbalize, I am inspecting for edema, hair distribution, skin condition, temperature, and varicosities. This ends the cardiac exam. Next is abdomen. Position and exposure. Perform examination with patient in supine position. Expose abdomen from xiphoid to suprapubic area. Inspection. Inspect abdomen for contour, skin lesions, such as scars, dry rashes, or pulsations. Verbalize abdomen, contour, and skin condition. Auscultation. Listen for bowel sounds in all four quadrants. You must listen until bowel sounds are heard up to two minutes. Abdominal vessels. Auscultate with the bell for bruise over the following vessels. Abdominal aorta, renal arteries, iliac arteries, and femoral arteries. Palpate the femoral artery first, then place bell on vessel. Verbalize, there are no bruises noted. The femoral pulse is full and equal bilaterally. There is no inguinal adenopathy. Percussion. Percuss general abdominal area for tympani. Must assess all four quadrants. Liver percussion. Percuss liver location and size.
mark the upper border and lower border. Measure border, measure liver size. Verbalize liver size. Next critical item, you must flex patient's knees for the next portion of exam. Light palpation. Lightly palpate all four quadrants for tenderness, muscle rigidity, and superficial masses. Verbalize. There is no tenderness, guarding, rigidity, or masses to light palpation. Deep palpation. Palpate more deeply in all four quadrants for delineation of any organs or masses. Verbalize. There is no tenderness, guarding, rigidity, masses to deep palpation. Rebound tenderness. Palpate for rebound tenderness in right lower quadrant. Verbalize. There is no rebound tenderness. Abdominal aorta. Palpate the abdominal aorta for width and pulsations. Verbalize. The abdominal aorta is 3 centimeters wide without lateral expansion or pulsations. Liver border. Palpate the liver edge. You may use the hook method or the abdominal approach. Verbalize the liver edge is smooth and non-tender. Spleen size. Palpate for possible spleen enlargement. Verbalize the spleen is non-palpable and non-tender. End of abdominal exam. Next is special test for the abdomen. Observe the face for pain during these movements. Murphy's test. Palpate the liver for tenderness with deep inspiration. Have the patient blow all the air out, and then take in a deep breath. Rousing sign. Palpate deeply in the left lower quadrant to elicit rebound pain to right lower quadrant. Shifting dullness. With patient like laying supine, supine, percuss the abdomen flanks for fluid line. Then have patient move to the lateral decubitus position and per percuss for shift of fluid line. Iliopsoas sign. Hand on patient's right thigh, have patient raise leg against resistance. Obturator sign. Flex hip and internally rotate hip. Heel tap. With the patient's legs fully extended, raise heel and strike the bottom of the foot. End of special test for abdomen. Next is the mental status exam. First start with consciousness, orientation, and affect. So what's your name? Describe the level of consciousness orientation to person, place, and time, and affect. Okay. Ask them their name, That's ask true. where are they located, you know where you're at? Okay. and approximate time of day. Verbalize, patient is alert and oriented times three, speech, dress, and behavior appropriate. Long-term memory, evaluate by asking, naming the last three presidents in order. Short-term memory. Give three unrelated words. Bird, truck, and pencil. Repeat that. Bird, truck, and pencil. For example, give them bird, truck, pencil. Have them repeat back, and you will ask them later to remember those words.
intellectual function. Evaluate intellectual function by using serial sevens or serial threes. Ask the patient to count backward from 100 by sevens. End of mental status exam. Next section is cranial nerves. Cranial nerve one. Test patients' discrimination of odors bilaterally. Do not use alcohol pads or ammonia ampules. Next, visual acuity. Evaluate visual acuity. Verbalize visual acuity is 2020 OD, OS, OU. Cranial nerve 3, 4, and 6. Verbalize EOMs are full range without nystagmus. Cranial nerve 5, sensory. Ask the patient to verbalize when touched lightly on the face. You must test all three branches of cranial nerve 5. Cranial nerve 5 motor. Palpate the muscles of mastication separately. Temporal and masseter muscles. Cranial nerve 7, inspect for symmetry of facial movements. Cranial nerve 8, test auditory acuity. Use either mass whisper or rub fingers together. Inspect for presence of gag reflex. Use tongue blade to evaluate gag reflex. Cranial nerve 10. Inspect for midline rise of uvula and soft palate. Verbalize uvula as midline and soft palate rises symmetrically. Cranial nerve 11, test shoulder shrug and SCM strength against resistance. Cranial nerve 12, inspect tongue for midline position without deviation. Verbalize, tongue is midline without deviation. End of cranial nerves. The next section is sensory exam. First is survey of dermatome. Test patient's discrimination of sharp versus dull tactile stimulation of dermatomes. This is sharp or this is dull? With the patient's eyes closed, check the three branches of the trigeminal nerve. Check the lateral and medial aspects of the upper arms and forearm for the radial, median, and ulnar nerves. Check three paired locations on the trunk at the nipple area, the umbilicus, and the iliac crest levels. Check each lower leg and thigh, and three locations on the foot.
Light touch. Test the patient's recognition of light tactile stimulus. With the patient's eyes closed, check the same locations with light touch. Tell me now when you feel it. Yes. 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 Vibratory sense. Use the 128 fork. Test discrimination over the most distal joints of the thumbs and great toes. Ask the patient when they feel vibration. Stop the vibration. Ask them when it stops. Proprioception. Test the patient's awareness of body position using digits of hands and feet. Eyes must be closed. This is down. This is in the middle. What position? You must grab the finger and toes from the sides with no pressure from your fingers for additional spatial cue to patient. Ask the patient whether they feel up or down. Stereognosis. Test the patient's recognition of small familiar objects placed in their hand. In this case, a key and a coin. Test both hands. At this point, ask the patient about short-term memory. Ask the patient what the three words were. What were the three words? Okay. Patient should be able to recall the three words. End of sensory exam. The next section is lower extremities. Inspection. Inspect soft tissue and joint alignment. Verbalize hips. Knees, ankles, and toes are symmetrically aligned without atrophy, deformities, fasciculation, or tremors. There is no swelling or discoloration. Bony palpation. Palpate iliac crests, greater trochanter of the femur, patella and suprapatella pouch, femoral epicondyles, lateral and medial malleoli at the ankles, MTPs and the IP joints of the toe. Verbalize there is no swelling, bogginess, heat, or tenderness over joints and bony prominences. Soft tissue palpation. Palpate prominent muscles of thighs and lower legs. Palpate popliteal fossa and Achilles tendon. Verbalize, there is no heat or tenderness. Muscle tone is symmetrical without spasm. There are no nodules or popliteal cyst. Hips and knees range of motion.
Next is ankles, feet, and toes, active range of motion. Instruct patient to draw circles in the air with each foot, rotating about the ankle, then flex and extend the toes. Passive range of motion. Stabilize ankle with one hand and with the other grasp the heel and invert and evert the foot. Next, stabilize the heel with one hand and with the other invert and evert the forefoot. Flex the toes on the MTP joints. Muscle strength, the lower extremities. Evaluate hip flexion, abduction, adduction, knee flexion and extension, and great toe extension. Verbalize muscle strength is 5 over 5. Ankle clonus. Relax the patient's ankle, then briskly dorsiflex and hold for five seconds. Verbalize there are no beats of clonus. End of exam. Upper extremities. First start with inspection. Inspect soft tissue and joint alignment. Verbalize shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers are symmetrically aligned without atrophy, deformities, fasciculation, or tremors. There is no swelling or discoloration. Bony palpation. Palpate the sternoclavicular joints, the clavicles, the AC joints, the bicipital grooves, the scapula, the olecranon processes, the epicondyles, joints of the wrist, and the fingers. Verbalize there is no swelling, bogginess, heat or tenderness over joints and bony prominences. Soft tissue palpation. Verbalize there is no heat or tenderness, muscle tone is symmetrical without spasm. Shoulder range of motion. Instruct the patient to flexion, elbow range of motion. Instruct patient to flex, extend, supinate, and pronate. Wrist range of motion. Instruct patient to flex, extend, abduct, and adduct. Hand range of motion. Instruct patient to extend and spread digits, then make a fist. Muscle strength. Apply resistance against patient's movements. Abduction, adduction. Biceps and triceps, wrist extension, spread fingers, pincher grip, and grip fingers.
can pants don't make them. Verbalize muscle strength is five over five. Deep tendon reflexes. Evaluate symmetry of upper and lower DTRs plus the Babinski reflex. Check the tricep, looking for the belly of the muscle to contract or extension of the arm. Check the bicep, seeing muscle contraction or tendon tightening under your finger. And the brachioradialis. The next DTR is patellar. Next is Achilles. Relax the foot with slight dorsiflexion. And hit the Achilles tendon. Test Babinski reflex. Go on the lateral aspect of the sole. Ensure to test both sides of all deep, deep tendon reflexes. Verbalize, DTRs are two plus and symmetrical. Toes are down going. Cerebellar exam. Start with heel to shin. Ask the patient to run the heel of one foot from the knee to the great toe and back with their eyes closed. Next is rapid alternating movements. Okay, you to Upper extremities. Flip them back and forth fast as you can. Okay. And then I want you to tap your toes on my hands. Lower extremities, have them tap your palms. Finger to nose, your, ask the patient to touch your finger. Put your finger on your nose. At full arm extension. Okay, then keep going. Fast as you can. Okay, close your eyes. Good. Okay, repeat with the other hand. Okay, other. Next is gates. Inspect for balance, coordination, and muscle strength while patient walks short distances. Evaluate bipedal gait. Okay, you can stop and turn around. Tiptoe okay, walking. Okay, go back on your toes. Heel walking. Tandem walking. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Ensure to observe cornering on all these movements. Romberg, inspect for balance while patient stands, eyes closed, heels and toes together. Be prepared to protect the patient if they fall. Have them hold their eyes closed for 20 to 30 seconds. Next is pronator drift. Have the patient extend their arms anteriorly, palms up, eyes closed, and observe for arm position. The pronator drift can be combined with the Romberg test. Okay, open your eyes. Spine. Start with inspection. Inspect soft tissue and joint alignment, specifically noting curvature of the spine and symmetry of the back. Inspect laterally and posteriorly. Verbalize, spine is without deformity. There is symmetry of the scapula, shoulder, and iliac height. There is no muscle atrophy, swelling, or discoloration. Bony palpation, palpate the spinous processes. The cervical spine 
thoracic and lumbar areas. Verbalize, there is no swelling, heat, or tenderness over joints or bony prominences. Soft tissue.